Thank you so much for joining us for our continuation of the Lost Minds of Phandelver D&D campaign. We've been playing live on Twitch roughly around midnight PST on Friday nights. If you ever want to join us and see the action unfold live, I have a link to my Twitch page in the video description below. The following video has been edited uh, just to cut down uh, on the long pauses, the fiddling with Rule 20, the rules looking up, and a lot of the chat interactions, so it's just straight D&D, or as close to it as I can get it. Uh, so if you want all that other extra goodness, come stop by the stream. All right, now let's get into it. Snowloo, do you have a jar? I've got many things. Hold on, let me let me see. It does a lot um, of stuff. What do I have? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got a few. Uh, while Snow is searching through his bag for a jar, can I? What what seems to be this kind of a uh, depression in the area? It's just like kind of it seems like a waterway, but I'm assuming there's no water in it. Uh, yes, it is. It is currently dry, and yeah, it looks just like a carved out path for water to flow through that would power that uh, large wheel uh, that would uh, make the, the the forge. I, to throw I've, I've got. Hold on. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I've got two round vials, glass vials. Uh, do you want something for one? What do you have? I got a cool pearl. Oh, I'll take it. All right. All right. Give it to me. I'm taking the jar. After giving Snowloo the the pearl, and I'm gonna scoop up the the glowing green flame. How bright is it? Sheds dim light in a 15 foot radius. I'm just gonna like tie it to my waist, so it'll just be there. Is there anything else in here? So, it, sitting in this entire room, there's the blast furnace with mechanical bellows. Uh, there's the water wheel that dominate, and that dominates most of this chamber. Uh, the furnace is cold and dark. But there are heaps of coal piled nearby, along with carts full of unrefined ore. The water wheel sits in a 10-foot wide channel cut into the floor of the room, uh, which is dry like mentioned before. There are a dozen corpses scattered around, uh, some of which were dwarves, and some you see are orcs. I'm gonna check this hallway. Oh, there's a door! Whoa! Snolu, I found a door! Do you wanna go there? I'm gonna look in here real fast. Just gonna open it. I'll, I'll stand over here just in case, I guess. Uh, as oh. you try to open the door, it, it doesn't budge. Oh. Ronom, help me with the door. Okay. Do you need a crowbar? I got a crowbar. Do you want a crowbar? crowbar I'll probably so I'm going to stand directly behind him. Like, directly behind him. But instead of actually helping him, I'm going to pull out my horn my magical horn and I'm gonna blow it very gently and sensually right into his ear and <laughs> magically lend him the help action at range. Just start oh. careless whispering into his ear. Yeah. It's 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 not loud. It's not loud and irritating. It's like it's gentle and soothing horn music. Right. Oh. So All I'm right. helping I'm helping him attempt on the door. Is it like a strength check for the door? Yep. Will the crowbar help me with the door? <clears throat> It'll give you advantage, but yeah, with the help action, like, yeah. you already have advantage. Just a raw strength check. Listen, I got you gave me this horn. I got to use this horn for something. Uh, yeah, raw strength. No, you're good. You're good. No, oh, 24. Yo, okay. You just, with the power of music, just you just rip off. the door off its hinges. <laughs> just... You got Rona behind you, playing some sensual music into your ear, and it just gets you just so jacked uh, that you uh, sh just shove the door open. It just kind of gives off this loud creak uh, as it as it you it pushes against something on the other side that scrapes against the floor. Uh, and you have to give There's me dead people in here. You have to give me a second. Uh, there's not dead people in here. It looks like somebody barricaded this room. Oh, there's another door. Hello? Uh, the thing is, is they're not dead. Oh. 
Did you release more ghouls? There's some more bugbears in here. I don't like those. <laughs> oh! <laughs> bugbears, we mean you no harm. They're just chilling out there the whole time. Uh, and is you have you heard of the Eric and the Dread? I have not. I have not heard of We've that. We've already taken care of all the horrors uh, that reside outside this room. So, sir, hold on. They would have moved as you, they heard you kind of straying against the door. They would have taken up some defensive positions as you kind of pushed. Actually, I think two of them would have been back. As you as you pushed open this door, you are met at the, at the side of five five buckbears with their weapons in hand. We mean you no harm. We've already taken care of all the horrors outside of this door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess we're killing them. I, well, hold on. Okay, I just I pulled it up preemptively. Um, okay. So one of them will call back. Come on, Steve. You should know better by now. <laughs> we'll we make friends with every she did before we even have a chance to make friends with them. <laughs> well, hold on. Um, uh... <clears throat> Who, who are you? What you do down here? We're clearing out the mine. On whose orders? On ours. It's very dangerous in here. The only one down allowed down here is, is the spider, and if you're not with the spider, then you're not with us. And then we'll roll for initiative. Uh, Pistachio is first. Oh, Pistachio. Oh, get, yeah, Pistachio. He's up there with you. He's not uh, down here on the... Thank you, yeah, Zelda. Yeah, he's on Slow's shoulder. I appreciate you. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Pistachio can do much, to be honest. Um... Pistachio is there for moral support, and I feel like yeah. he's just like the party good luck charm. <laughs> what do you mean? He does lots of things. Like, he runs like, and he dies. Like, like look adorable. People like, be the fun. cutest decoy a party of adventurers could ever hope for. He's trying his best. <laughs> I'm telling you, let's just put like a little. A little a bomb in his mouth. Oh. <laughs> he's fine. He's gonna love it. Um, we, we need a spell bead, and someone needs to put fireball. That's what I was we'll telling you. We, we need we need the time wizard to put like a fireball bead in his mouth and train my plans. <laughs> train, train the weasel to set it up. For uh, sure, play the month. For keep their back sure. Safe. Just <clears throat> stay behind them all. You're gonna be the baby eater again, and that's gonna be his turn. Lane. All right. I'm casting this. And I am taking Eagle's Splendor. Okay, so you cast Enhance Ability, and you gain... What do you gain from it? Is it? Advantage on all Charisma checks. Okay. Do you really think that you can beat us? Even in my injured state, my four full healthy party members behind me can make short work of you from the work we've just done with all the horrors that await in this disgusting mine. Even your own bugbear kind told us you were terrified of the creatures that lie in this depths. If if you fought if you fought the monsters, there's no way you're healthy enough to fight us. Bring it on. Do you really believe that? you really believe we're not healthy enough? I mean, he's looking at you. And you're like, singed, I mean, bloody. <laughs> like, I think we're fine. How long does this last? An hour? Yeah. That's fine. It's fine. We'll beat him up, and then we'll... We'll try to talk to him after we beat some of them up. This concentration. Uh... It is. I'm not going to get it. It's fine. Unless Sire shoots me in the back. You know uh, I will. <laughs> I know you will. All right, that's it. I'm done. Okay. okay. That was my action. <clears throat> you gonna? Do you want to use movement, or are you just gonna hang out there? I'm, I'm just gonna block him. Just stand at the door. Okay. Uh. All right. So bugbear's gonna do what bugbears do best. Uh. And charge forward.
And he's going to raise his big old morning star. Uh, more doorways. <laughs> Always. Fine. That's my job. Uh, 23 to hit. Well, uh, really? <laughs> that doesn't hit. Uh, well, if it makes me better, uh, you're not only going to take, you take four piercing damage as his morning star slams into your side. Uh, let me make a concentration roll. I might keep my concentration up. Oh, I thought you were down to like 2 HP. No, I had 11. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, and it's just gonna, it's just gonna roar it. It's like, nah, take that. It's nothing compared to the fireball of the great flaming <laughs> skull. <laughs> Yo. Elaine's one true love. Uh, Snow is next. Um, I will cast Cure Wound through the paws of Pistachio on Elaine. Thank you. Hey. At level two. That's a good roll. It's pretty good. Even with your raw strength, you can't hope to beat our magics. Our magic weasel. <laughs> I just healed. I just, I just healed twice the damage you dealt to me. They they hear you say magic weasel, I'm like kill kill the weasel. We're gonna kill the weasel. <laughs> you can't reach the weasel. Good luck with that. I'm, you have to go through me to get to the weasel. Hold on, I'll get like the reinforcement. They're waiting in, in the other room. <laughs> we got more That's coming. 16, no. I'll be right back. And I'll I'll whistle to, to the yeens for them to come over, and that's gonna be my turn. Gundren's ears oh, perk up too, like those. the whistle. <laughs> the whistle. <laughs> he gets excited. <laughs> it's time for me to come, come along. Here, <laughs> uh, bonus action. Actually, yeah, I'll I'll use the bear. Can I? Oh, well, actually, oh, yeah, it's fine. Oh, and what is I'm that? I'm gonna use yeah, the bear, so I'm just gonna drop it. Just the temp HP one. It is like 10, 10 page speed, like for everyone is. Five plus your druid level. Okay. And advantage on all strength checks. Uh, that's gonna be my turn though. This one. He's gonna step in. Uh, and I'll take an opportunity attack when he backs off to try and hit you with a morning star. Is. Uh, and misses. It kind of catches the door frame. And he'll step back if you wanna. He's getting an opportunity attack. Oh. Non-lethal. That'll hit. Okay. Seven magic. So now what? <laughs> so one on the damage roll. Slash into him, and he just kind of like ah, as he steps back, and then uh, you slice into him, and it is Ronom's turn. Um. Well. Not in Open. a great spot. <laughs> ah, you're fine. I can't really attack through the door. I don't know if I can, like, share space with you. Well, I don't want to take you, attacks. You can walk into me, then leave. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah just have but to take I take that. attacks of opportunity. I miss my halberd. <laughs> oh. You should have just kept both of them. Nah, this one's chunkier by a lot. I'm just gonna like, kind of like prop myself up against the wall. I'm just gonna like lean against the wall. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Vicious Mockery on the one directly in front. Oh, okay. Is that a uh, wisdom? Uh oh. So it's a wisdom save, uh, and if they fail, it's 1d4, and they have disadvantage. Oh, it should be beefed up, right? Because at level, it should be oh, 2d4. Yes. It is. I, uh, I don't have it saved oh. as an attack, so it'll be two d four. He does. He does save your your insults fall against deaf ears. Shrugs him off. That's fine. I'm just I'm just relaxing against the wall here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, is that is that the end of your turn? Yes. Wait. Yeah, that'll be the end of my turn. We're gonna swing around to another bugbear. Uh, this one is going to leave. Well, 10, 15, 15, five. You're going to see him go through another door. Can I see through the door a little bit as he goes through the door? Uh, You see another hallway. And then he, cool. he shuts it behind him. Oh. Where is he going? 
Uh, Loki, it is your turn. Don't forget, you all have ten temporary hit points from the totem. Oh uh, yeah. Everybody gets their hands just so chonky. I'm thick. Elaine, if you if you make an opening, I'll go in there with my temp HP. Alrighty. And by opening, I mean open this bugbear up and make him a corpse. Oh. <laughs> and I'll go. I'll go in there. Can I see anything if I stand there or no? Uh, yeah, and you can. I mean, there's only a week in the way. You can kind of see through it, but they're gonna have uh, a bonus to their AC. Just do our just do our party signature move and fire a Eldritch Blast between Elaine's legs. You just like man, she just barely graze him in the balls with it. Oh, we call that no, the part. We call that the party that special. Is that the party special? I was gone for two weeks. <laughs> That's our signature move. <laughs> We've done that for the past four months. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's arrows between the legs. Sometimes it's spells. Sometimes it's Snowloog crawling in there and taking a jab at something. Yeah. Sometimes it's a hyena. Sometimes it's a hyena. Get in Yo. there. Get yeah, you, just, you, you, turn, you, leave, you turn and look over your shoulder. Get in there. Come on in. There's room. <laughs> Get her done. I mean, I am eight feet tall, so you could just, like, Yeah, hey, there's plenty of room. Go. I wouldn't recommend it. But... Hey, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, imagine doing 2d8. Let's go. Uh, dex throw from the bugbear. Doink. Oh, he failed. Roll that 2d8. Door. Let's go. Oh. Alright, nine damage. So you. You, uh, you kind of point at him in this sort of dark, uh, necrotic sort of fire kind of comes down uh, and cinches him. Alright, and help the bugbear. How dare you! <laughs> come come up here to the front and fight me like a man! Uh, bonus action. You would not like that. <laughs> like, 2 HP! Um, no bonus action. Okay, uh, we'll go over to Gundren. Gundren the Almighty. Uh, he, oh. he's just gonna, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. He's gonna full action dash and just. Oh my God! His little legs are going. I know. <laughs> Front hold on <laughs> five, ten. I think he can go one more. Hey, what? Are you guys okay in here? What was Gundren's voice? It's something like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing fine. Just stay around us. It's not gonna be saved on there. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'll just give a, I'll give a little thumbs up. Uh, and that's his turn. We're we're over to the one of the hyenas. Uh, well, they heard the whistle, so they're gonna come over. Just tackle this feet. little man. <laughs> just <laughs> see, oh, God, the little like, man wets himself a little bit, just seeing the two large hyenas like <laughs> bounding towards him. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And I'll point over to the door. There's more bad guys over there. Just try to do your thing, I guess. Just <laughs> go over there. Keep them safe. And that's gonna be bears just see two giant hyenas come around yeah, the corner. As they dash over there, of course. Okay. There's so much stuff in the hall. <laughs> that's fine. There's so much stuff. Uh, is that it for the hyenas? Oh, yeah. Okay, Erebus is up. I don't even know where Erebus is. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I'm right behind the. I keep losing sight of Erebus every time. <laughs> he's got he's got that mark on top of his token now. And just that, that's for the hunter's mark. Oh, I see. Just so I can remind myself, like I have that available. You have hunter's mark and up. Concentration. Um. The. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, at least burn my bonus action. If I can see this bugbear right in the doorway, I'll mark him with Hunter's Mark. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're able to kind of see him. He's pretty okay. big. All right. So I will mark him. Can't 
really make a good shot, so I'm going to hold off on the action. Okay. That'll be my turn. Uh, this guy... He's going to move here, and he's going to hold an action. All right, he kind of, like, pulls his crossbow up and sort of aims it at the door. <clears throat> and this one will do the same. Um, Pistachio. Um, Pistachio just chilling, really. That's going to be certain. He doesn't have anything to do. I mean, he's going to dodge, I guess, but that's about it. Okay. And Elaine? We'll give you one chance to surrender or you'll be fed to the hyenas. Uh, so, like, peek out the door and be like, they can't even... Hyena can't get in the room. They're I'll drag you out to him. <clears throat> bring it on! All right, I'm gonna grab him. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> you got advantage. Oh, pretty bad. Sure. Oh, I... Do I? Oh, oh yeah, Pistachio's bear... helping me. Oh, wait, it's the oh bear yeah, the bear, bear totem. totem. Okay, he's grappled. And then dragged. I warned you. You have half speed, right? You can, I don't think you can because there's too many bodies in the way for him to end his turn. Wait, are you grappling more? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm grappling this guy. Wait, is Pistachio assisting it's just, grapple? I can step over Pistachio. <laughs> no, it's the, the bear totem. Oh. I thought Pistachio was like biting at his ankle to help out. <laughs> it would be pretty funny. I'll give you one chance, or I'm going to drag you back to them, and they will eat you. It's, he's just straining against your grapple. Doesn't say anything back. And pull him out. Okay. Right there. Okay, he's been pulled out. Alright, that's my, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Bugbear's turn. Well, he'll just try and break the grapple. Yeah, he just Ooh. can't. He can't break free. Uh, so he just, like, looks over at the bugbear to his side and gives him a little nod. It's no loo. I'll come back, of course. I'll cast Cure Wound on Elaine at level 2 using Pistachio's Paul. Cure Wound. Level 2. Give it to me. Oh, we'll go 13. I don't look so beat up now, do I? I just yell back, like, we'll, we'll kill you. You won't, but okay. This one, this one is going to shoot at Loki with his crossbow. Uh, Loki will have plus two to his AT AC since he has partial cover. Uh, yeah, but I'm assuming even with a plus two, your AC is lower than 20. Yes, it, it's lower than 20. Okay, seven piercing damage uh, as an arrow slams into you. What did I Cast ever do to you? Cast that You attack friend! That makes you tanky. Then, and your friend attacked my friends. And he's going to let's see. Let's scoot back. Ronam. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure how grappling works. If I attack a target that's grappled, do I have a chance of hitting? A, you have advantage. You have on advantage it. on it because he can't move. Okay, I'm just gonna swing my axe down on him. Okay. Oh, that's a bad roll. Oh, it's not gonna do it. You you swing down, but you're like you just catch like the side of the bugbear's armor, and it just kind of bounces off to the side. Sad day. Move out um, of the way so I can give them to the hyenas. I just shrug. <laughs> Can't get out of the way. Okay. And I'll end my turn. Okay, this you can't even see this guy. Oh, he's big gone. He's going to get the black spider himself. He's gone. Oh. Loki's turn. Use empiric touch. So go ahead and roll an attack roll. Fifteen total. Yes, yeah, so that is not. Oh, you get advantage. So roll one more time. Oh yeah, I'm grabbing him. Oh. So the 15 is not enough to do it. So you kind of reach out, uh, but he kind of wriggles around, uh, and you're not able to get a good grasp on him, to, uh, and the spell fizzles out. Gundren's turn. Gundren's just like, ah, looks like you've got it. I'll, I'll keep watch back here. 
well, the first one's gonna move in, of course. <laughs> it's like um, everybody's like kind of pushed, pushed snug against just the wall. On everyone. I'm just watching. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just so... watching. I'm just like scratching my head. <laughs> uh, Coming through. <clears throat> He's he's survived two rounds of his oh, and that, that does not do it. I mean, that's why like there's a gentle. second hyena. Ooh. And the second one's gonna do the same. Okay. Uh, do they take oh. like a per opportunity attack? Not when he's moving? grappled. Okay, just making sure. There it is. And that is not gonna do. It. He's just like you guys are trying to attack him. And he's just like wriggling all over the place. Elaine cannot seem to hold him still. <laughs> right, oh, we're just too afraid to hit Elaine. Leave it to me. <laughs> Leave it to <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to. Move I've, to... I've been here before. <laughs> I ain't afraid. <laughs> Shoot the arrow through make, the bugbear uh... into Elaine. It's fine. I'm gonna make two short sword attacks. Okay. Uh, this is the one that I have hunters marked, correct? E Okay, yes. Cool. QQ. All right. First attack. Uh, oh, that one oh, is 24. You can roll again oh, with advantage. advantage. Just in case I crit. <laughs> no. Oh, it's higher. That's pretty close. Okay, roll the damage. Okay. One all. Okay, eight piercing is one slash and doom. Uh, 11 due to Hunter's Mark. Then Thanks. second strike. A lot of dammies. I like how hit. we're just like, hold him steady. Hold him steady. Okay, hold eight, him still. 18 hits. A pretty good strategy. Perfect. And then one more d6. 11. So 22 points for this man. His body just goes limp in Elaine's uh, arms as you just slash into this defenseless bugbear. Okay, so that's. Oh, I tried to reason with him. 15. Well, he's 20. blocking the door. <laughs> I mean, I, I was trying to make him scared so he'd surrender, Bird. but he, he didn't get scared. So. Can I move through the bugbear body to yeah. get up here? Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. just gonna drop him just instead. Uh, just and as you down. as you walk into the room, uh, they're going to let loose uh, two crossbow attacks at you. Oh, good. Uh, but oh, no. 16 to hit. 16 will hit. Okay, that's gonna be eight piercing damage for the first one, okay. and the second one is going to miss as it as the crossbow bolt buries itself in the wall behind you. <clears throat> Take that. We take those. All right. Um, there's bonus action. Yep, that'll be my turn. These bugbears. So they're they're just gonna keep on firing at you with their crossbows. Uh, Erebus. They both let loose more crossbow bolts. Uh, and they're they're a little worried. They saw their friend just get annihilated by you. Uh, and so they're a little shaky. And their aim's off. Uh, two more air crossbow bolts are gonna bury themselves in the wall behind you. And it is Pistachio's turn. Oh no, pistachio! Oh, go, go pistachio! <laughs> How big is that? Can he can he take cover behind that? Uh, I think pistachio. It's just like a small. Well, let me double check and see what it is. He's tiny. Pretty sure it's just like a small little like brazier. Let's see. Well, uh, yeah, it's just a. It's an iron brazier. It is lit, so it is it is glowing with hot coals. Pistachio doesn't fear fire. He's gonna push it. Is he trying to like tip it over? <laughs> oh, it's uh, it, it's on fire. sorry. It is it is made out of it is like made out of like heavy iron though. He has advantage on strength. Oh, well, he's not, he's out of it. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, roll that roll that strength check. Trying his hardest. You just see him kind of like push it up against it, and he's like a little like his fur kind of singes off in a little spot where it touches it, and he's not able to push it over. Thank God he didn't take like one, one damage. <laughs> Just <laughs> that's gonna be his turn. Okay, he tried. He's doing. He's working with what he got. Yeah. Just whenever Pistachio falls, all I imagine is like a confetti-filled balloon. <laughs> okay. This is the last chance. You saw what we did to your friend. Uh, just show us what you got. <laughs> well. That doesn't hit. Uh, unfortunately, it does not. Well, <clears throat> I'm using inspiration to reroll it. Okay. 
you know, it's all good. <laughs> yep, unfortunately, you, you let loose this, this uh, bolt of holy energy, and it just whizzes over his shoulder and, like, blasts into the the stony wall behind him. That was a warning shot. Yeah, it looked like you were trying to hit me. <laughs> It seemed I'm like just one. trying to make you leave. We don't want to hurt you if we don't have to. No, you leave. You know I don't want to hurt you. I mean, we're not the ones getting hurt. Your friend's the one that's dead. Be dumb. We smart. Is that why you're not running away? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the last warning. You're dead now. That's my turn. Uh, Snow Lou is giving something. An action. I want to give my crossbow to Ronan. I'll let you do it as a bonus action. Just bonus awesome. action. Yeah. Oh, I can oh you can get up there far enough. Yeah. Wait, why are you giving it to me? <laughs> stop, stop yelling and at them. Just shoot the guys. <laughs> but this works sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it. I do. I mean, <laughs> I think you it works sometimes. I mean, sometimes they look sadder oh, after I say it. I, so no. I call. That means it's working, right? I don't know how this man. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I mean, do you do you want to continue yelling and oh, at them? No. I'll give it back. Just let me borrow that. <laughs> I'll give him my crossbow. It's a light crossbow. It's nothing special. All right, you can do it. I believe. Uh, all right, bugbear's turn. Gonna move forward one. He's going to swing his morning star at you now that you're out in the open. But he, he stumbles a little bit, uh, and he just completely just whiffs it. I gave you a chance. Uh, and that's his turn. Ronam. All right, I'm going in. I believe. <laughs> I believe in you. 5, 10, 20, so 25, 30. And I'm going to take a shot at the bugbear directly in front of me with the crossbow. Okay. So 17 to hit. That'll hit. So it'll be 5. Okay. Sort of grunts as the crossbow bolt buries itself in his arm. Is that all you got? Uh, well, for now. <laughs> <laughs> it only had it only had one arrow. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, and I am going to uh, expend a bardic inspiration to to kind of like give a rallying cry to Elaine. Don't try and make friends with these ones. It, it's too late. They're dead. You got other <laughs> stuff to do. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> you got this. I tried. They wasted I'm gonna too give much him of a, I'll time. give them a thumbs up. <laughs> a magical thumbs up of inspiration. I bet you wish you had magical thumbs up of inspiration, bugbear. Uh, you guys are going to see... This door pop back open, and he's gonna he's gonna peek in with his crossbow, and he's gonna shoot uh, at Elaine. There's two bugbears in front of me. Do I get plus two to AC? Uh, and his crossbow bolt uh just kind of whizzes over your shoulder, just completely misses. <clears throat> uh, I hate that it always rolls with advantage. There we go. Resistance is futile. Uh, and it is Loki's turn. Which one are you attacking? That one. Okay, and I believe it is a dexterity saving throw. Uh, he's able to dodge out of the way of your sacred flame. Uh, just, uh, your, fil your filthy magics can't touch me. Yeah, he's got like a nice pair of new balances on. He's ready. He's ready to break some ankles. One way or another. <laughs> he means business and CrossFit shoes. He's got CrossFit shoes on. His <laughs> heart's gonna be mine one way or another. Uh, uh, bonus action, or I think you have a little bit of movement left. I think I do. Mm. So we should move here. Uh, and you guys just hear, like, from the back, like, Dunder is just like, Everything's clear back here, don't worry, I got it! Don't stay too far off, though. Uh, oh, you're, yeah, he probably would actually... And stay in my sight. Know. Uses action to dash on his little, his little short dwarf legs, and it's the, the hyena's turn. Uh, 
the blue one is gonna tackle this wall. I don't know what I need to roll for that. Just runs at it and try to tackle it down. Uh. <laughs> They're going through. Uh. I, oh God, it's. I mean, it's, like it's just a solid stone wall. <laughs> it's a solid fleshy hyena. We have through. a solid hyena. Yeah. Uh, I. <laughs> <laughs> Make an attack roll on the wall. That was an attack roll. All right. Don't cave us in. <laughs> that was Is it hyena versus wall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. The wall. He rolls a new initiative. Oh my god. Hey. Uh. So your your hyena starts just like clawing and like chomping on the on the, on bits of wall, <laughs> and you see like rocks and 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 like kind of crumble away from it. Uh, the, there's still a wall. There's still a wall. Still a wall. They're doing it too. They're coming in. You better be scared now. <laughs> They're very hungry. <laughs> and this one doesn't I'll, uh, I mean, it, I mean, it's a wall. <laughs> Can't move. Okay. Yeah, it's it's How much an, HP does the wall have? It takes, takes a little bit. takes a little, a little, a little more off the wall. You can stay there though. And that's gonna be it. Erebus, <laughs> you just hear a lot of scratching and snarling behind you. All right, well, let me get out of the way of that. Uh, five, ten, ten feet there. Okay, bonus action. I'm going to Hunter's Mark the bugbear down below. Okay. Take a shot at it with the storm bow. Oh, I have that marked on again. Just not have that. And. Oh. Oh, that hits. All right. That's that. Ah. Be six. Six, two. Oh. Right. Free Dimash. First shot. Second shot. Same one. That's fine. Nobody's in the way this time. Let's go. Um, yeah, nobody, nobody's in the way. Um, so, yeah, you the first the first arrow know. finds its mark. Uh, and... Uh, it looks it looks real hurt. You you might have you must have hit like a, a vital a vital spot in his little bugbear body. Um as the crack of uh thunder kind of fills the cavern. Uh and the second one you you shot it just kinda embeds itself in the little brazier. It's kinda sparks life a little bit. Oops. And watch where you're be, aiming that. That will be my turn. Okay. Alright. Buckbear's turn. He's not having any of this any of this nonsense. He's gonna come around here. Oh my god. Uh and you're gonna take ten points of piercing damage, Elaine, as his morning star just smashes into your back. How many did you hit me for? What's the number? Twenty-three. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Yeah. <laughs> there goes my temp HP. This bugbear. It's just gonna push forward. You've been talking Ooh, all. You've been talking a lot of smack. I don't care. Uh, that's a seventeen to hit, which won't do it. I think that saves. Yeah. I think the DC is like a twelve. Yeah, you saved. Uh, and the second one's gonna miss. You're able to just easily deflect his morning star away with your shield. We are around to pistachio. Blank them. Flank them real good. Oh, oh, pistachio, go right here. Just like this little green blur zipping around. <laughs> so fast. Uh, that's gonna be it for pistachio. He's just gonna dodge. Uh, as his action. Okay. Elaine. Thank you, little weasel. With your assistance, I'll smite down this bugbear. 26 and 23. Okay, those hit. But I'm smiting. Okay. 14 plus 2d8. And which one are you attacking? The one right, uh, the one that Pistachio is flanking. Gotcha. So that's 14 plus 9. That's a lot of damies. That's 23 damage. Uh, 23. Is he still standing? He is still standing. You. You slash into him and he kind of like is like ah that's nothing and then you pull your sword pulses with this holy energy and 
Uh, he takes that extra bit, and now he's looking real hurt. Then I'm gonna raise my sword, and it's gonna start glowing. And then I'm gonna use this. And uh, then roll 2d8 plus 5, and gain temporary hit points. 14 temp HP is this... Okay. Uh, these raven wings surround me for a second, giving me extra health. Um, and then I'm gonna swing down on the bugbear in front of me again at advantage, because he's being flanked. That'll, World 17! That'll hit. 12. Uh, as you, you slice into him, uh, and he, he, like, tries to hold himself up, uh, but then just slumps to the ground dead. And then I'm gonna look to the ones on either side of me, and that's my turn. Chinalu. I did forget about the bear, to be honest, but since I was reminded, I'll use my bonus action to move it up. And what? I think it's up to 60 feet. Come here, bear. On the breeze, you're attacking this yeah. one. Okay. Yeah, with the torn whip. It's not not quite enough to do it. Garbage 50. You <laughs> let loose your thorn whip, but it just kind of burns away a little bit in the breeze here, so it's not quite able to reach him. Well, that's, that's gonna be my turn. Okay, Bugbear's turn. He's going to swing on Elaine. Saw him kill his little Bugbear friend. Uh, big 18 to hit. No. Okay. Uh, looks discouraged. Uh, he's just kind of like tighten his grip. He's like, "Next time, I get you." And it's Ronald's turn. I see the I see the thorn whip miss, and I just uh like kind of like look to Snow and I'm like, "Okay, it's your turn to use this." And I'm gonna throw the crossbow back to him. <laughs> okay. I'll look to Easy my bonus action. And then I am going to move up <clears throat> and attack. This one in front of me at advantage with my little weasel buddy. The advantage. 18 to hit. That hits. And it's gonna do 15 damage. Slash into him and he's he's kind of barely hanging in there. See him kind of... He's having a hard time keeping up his weapon held up. Uh, he's going to... He's gonna actually run behind you. How dare you attack, friend? How dare attack? From what? Wait, what? Nothing. <laughs> the pistachio. <laughs> the pistachio. I, I mean, if, if he ran by pistachio, no. he'll do his one damage. Uh, 18 to hit you, bear? Yes. It's going to be 10 piercing damage as his morning star slams into you. Okay. Uh, he's just like, you You better give up. And it's Loki's turn. Just, just see if I can use my great patch again. Okay, that'll hit. Which, who are you trying to hit right now? Oh, I see, I see. Okay. 22 hit, so roll for damage. The 3d6, yes. If you just click Vampiric Touch in the chat, it'll roll it for you. Okay, 13 necrotic damage. I think you heal half of that. Yes. Oh, uh, but yeah, that, that's, a, that's like the that's perfect good. description comic. I think Steve round. I think it's rounded down, right? So that'd be six. Uh, yes. Uh huh, boys. Nice. Okay. Uh, is that your turn? It is. All right. Uh, it's Gundren's turn. He's just gonna kind of sink up here and just be like, oh, uh, everything's great! And it's the hyena's turn. Um, Red is attacking the wall again. They hate it. They make another, they make another little bit. They're able to claw off another small chunk. And the bugbears, like, see them trying to get through. Oh, they can, they can hear the snarling. And they, and the US, and Delane was yelling about Big hyenas. And they, I think they, I think they saw them, so they know. They're terrified. I have all this on. Oh, I closed the sheet. Why? Doing the same. Oh, hello. <laughs> Do what? 
That's why I should have kept enlarge. Oh, enlarge reduce. No. I just reduce him down <laughs> and bring him through and then we'll immediately just bring again. concentration. Uh is it Yeah, it just it like it, it hurts its it hurts his mouth and it's it's not it's just like <laughs> doesn't do anything they to it. They feel no pain, their spirits. <laughs> It's like, it's like grins at you and you notice it's like missing a tooth. <laughs> Erebus. Oh. Alright. Um so Okay. Um move me up here. When I have Hunter's Mark. And and just make a short sword attack on him. And 26 to hit. That'll hit. It'll, oh, come on. Oh, is it not wanting to roll? It doesn't look like it wants to roll the damage. Hold on. D6 plus 4. I'm going to roll 2d6 because Hunter's Mark. There, oh, there it goes. Oh, uh, oh, there we go. God. Okay. Ooh. So it'd be so five, five, five piercing. piercing plus six, so eleven in total. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you're able to you're able to cut him down. Okay. It's like um, ah. That so was five feet of movement. Ten. Thirty there. Bonus action. Hunter's mark on this bug bear. Okay. And short sword attack. You, you won't be able to use your because it'd be a bonus bonus action to offhand attack, right? Oh, I have two attacks. Oh, and, uh, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. No, you're good. I forgot. Yeah, you I do it. have Somebody my other it. hand with my bow. <laughs> forgot so you. I'm had. only able to make just the main attack hand. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Not not enough to do it. All right. Uh, that will be my turn. Okay. Uh, so you guys hear a little bit of a commotion outside. Uh, so this bugbear is going to, come on, roll 20, I believe. This one? Yeah. This one is going to step into the room. Uh, let's see, hold on. 15, 20, oh no, he can move. He's able to move here. Uh, and he's going to start swinging on Erebus. And he's just like, don't worry, we're here. Oh yeah, 19 will definitely hit. It's going to be 12 piercing damage as this Morningstar slams into you. You see this drow lady that you guys have seen before walk into the room, and she's like, Tss, you guys again. Um, you gremlin. I'm going to wave at her. <laughs> she's just going to wave. Oops. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to wave. She just sneers at you. Give her a wink. Why she looks so gross. I don't know. I I, I think <laughs> we we had this conversation. I feel like I the token is like so much time to get a sexy sultry drow lady token. I honestly kind of forgot <laughs> she was here. <laughs> uh, she is going to ready her longbow, and uh, since you waved at her, she's gonna shoot at you, Ronom. She's gonna, no. she's gonna take. No. Uh, okay. It's all. She finds, she's just out just anger. Her arrow is going to slam into you, Ronom, and you're going to take 14 piercing damage. Okay. Uh, and she's going to notch another arrow. Uh, and does 18 hit your AC? Yes. Okay, that's going to be an extra 8 piercing damage on top of that. Okay. She lets off a few arrows, and she's just like, you guys shouldn't have, you, you should have just, you should have just went home. Bugbear... So it's gonna come in, uh, and it's going to so let's take one more step forward, I think. Um, and it's just gonna he'll, uh, swing on Erebus here with his Morning Star. Twelve to hit your AC, Erebus. Twelve does not hit. Okay, and the final one will move in. Get her done. And he's going. To shoot at you, Erebus, with his heavy crossbow. Uh, and I'm a... Misses. 
just kind of trips over his own two big bugbear feet as he comes through the door because he had a duck under it because they're so short. Uh, and the arrow embeds itself in this like bed behind you. Or around a pistachio. Pistachio. Hold on, I need to make a concentration check. I forgot. Um, so glad you, you guys have been so good about remembering those. I am so bad about it. Uh, he's just gonna dodge. There's no way he's getting out of there. So. <laughs> You don't want him to eat a bunch of <laughs> reactions. Okay. Uh, Elaine? Swing at the bugbear in front of you. It'll be long sword. My seed. That hits. Don't want to tell advantage. I'll swing again just in case. Oh, 28. <laughs> okay. 13 magic damage. That was enough to just gone. cleave him in half. Right. <laughs> dead. Right. I'm running past Pistachio. Okay. Up to this lady. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'm doing it again. That'll... 27, and I'm using. Can I use my thing? Extra necrotic damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to put a... I'll make a counter for that when it's not my turn. Okay. Uh, so, attack roll, then a d4. Oh, 15 damage! Four necrotic, 11. It is. You're not getting away this time. Ah, that that actually hurts a little bit. Uh, Snow Loose turn? Um... Hello, lady. How you been? It's been a while. Uh, she... do, you, do you like my hyenas? Uh, no, keep keep them out there, away from me. What about my unicorn? And I'll I'll drop the bear to summon the unicorn instead. That's actually pretty cool. I I'll have to admit. That's <laughs> actually kind of fucking cool. <laughs> nice. And I'll move in and cast fuel on the one arm. And that's gonna give. 5 HP for everyone else? Um, Do you want to heal the bugbears too? It's your choice. No. You think I have 15 HP? What? Uh, what? What's up? Did I just hear Elaine say he has 50 HP? Yeah. Oh, yeah he's a big beast. I have 38 plus 14. Because I have 14 temp HP. Wait, did you just heal right me now? for 15? I healed you for 17. Oh, no, 17. I, I didn't boring. see the higher level. Ronam? Get in there. You can do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach out and, and fist bump Snowloo and, th yeah. and thank him for the help. Thanks for the... I'm feeling invigorated. And I'm gonna give him a bardic inspiration die as well. Oh snap, it's my first one ever. I mean, no it's not. I've given you one before. <laughs> I, is it? I d I, probably. <laughs> I've given you one. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, and then I'm going to move down and... <laughs> Attack this one that's sandwiched between Loki and I. Okay. That'll, that'll, hit. To hit. that'll hit. Swing down your, your great axe. Uh, still standing, but he is he's hurt. It's getting, getting bloodied. Just like, ah! To hell. I will stop there. Okay. Uh, this bugbear. Uh, oh, he's, uh, Loki did so much damage with that spell, he, so he's just gonna take his Morning Star and take a swing at him because he does not like magics. Uh, yeah, magic. oh no, he misses just the between the having his life energy drained and, and slashed in the back by a great axe, he just whiffs it hard. And we're around to Loki's turn. If you're using Eldritch Blast, you have disadvantage. Oh, Eldritch Blast. Uh, mm -hmm. which also gives you advantage because right. you're flanking, so it would just be the 9. Which so unfortunately mm. will not hit as your limbs kind of get tangled up uh, being so close to the bugbear. Just sort of like mm. blasts off to the, into the side of the... Sorry, uh, Loki, did you want to move or use bonus action? If you move, you'll take an opportunity attack from the bugbear. And that's why I'm not moving. I am just saying what I'm just doing. What is Gundren gonna do with his little dwarf legs? He's just gonna scoot over here and give like the hyena a little pat. 
And that's his turn. You know what they're doing. They're gonna nibble on the wall some more. <laughs> Might as well. Alright, yeah, just, just roll... Okay. Still a, there's still a wall, but they, they've, they've caught a little hole in it. And they squeeze through the hole? It's not not all the way through, sorry. Uh, like an indent, uh, I guess. They're taking a chunk of the wall off. There's, they, they're doing it again. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh. Erebus's turn. Uh, Bonus action can move Hunter's Mark. Yeah. This one down here. How, how's, your, how's everybody's night going? And I'm going to make two Thanks short again for the raid, attacks against it. Okay. 17 and a 21 to hit. Those are both. I just, I just rolled both attacks. Yeah, they'll both hit. Okay. So that is the first one. Only 11 points of piercing on that. And the second one will deal 13 points of piercing. Okay. And, what, and I'm sorry, which one were you were you attacking? This one down here. Okay. That will be my turn. You fucked him up real good. You're just like slicing into him and he's like almost drops his morning star onto the ground. Uh, just like hands are slippery with, with just sweat and blood. Dang. Okay. Uh, all right. He's gonna he's gonna hit you right back, Erebus. He didn't like that. Fair didn't enough. Not like that one. He's <laughs> my turn. Uh, sixteen to hit. Sixteen will hit. That's gonna be eleven piercing damage as he slams his morning star into you. Okay. Uh, and he's like just so disappointed. He's just uh, uh, oh, why won't you die? Uh, the drow lady. She's gonna pull out her long sword and start hacking at. Elaine? Uh-oh. Level 20. No. So much faith in you. Like the links. Oh, my God. Uh, so she, swings, she swings at you with her long sword, but you're easily able to parry her blows. Uh, we're going to the next bugbear, uh, who is going to he's gonna he's gonna swing on Erebus behind him because he, he heard the cry of the bugbear uh from across the, cry of the bugbear can we hear that cry please DM? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, he's gonna swing on Erebus. uh 15 to hit 15 hits it matches uh nine piercing damage as you take another morning star smash okay uh and then this bugbear is going to uh, swing at Elaine, uh, and he's just so many bodies that he's worried about hitting his allies that he, he kind of your swings kind of soft, and you're easily able to just deflect his blow off of your shield. We're back around to the hero of the campaign, Pistachio. Uh, he really, he's really the main character. <laughs> he is the main. Yes. Character. Running my own uh, fanfic. Will do. It's gonna go right here. Shit, it's gonna go right here. Okay. And he's gonna dodge. Okay. What's he fine. doing? He's flanking. What do you mean? Elaine! Just ask you, you have so much to live for. <laughs> uh, I am. He's gonna swing at the draw lady again. <laughs> what is that flame face? 14. Uh, that hits? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. This lady sucks. Okay. 13. How's she looking? It's looking alright. I'm doing it again. Okay. 25. That'll hit. And I'm using my inspiration to add to my damage rule. What is it, a d8? Yes. 16 damage. That's a lot. She's not looking okay anymore. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, ah! That one, that one stung a little. Snow Lou? Move in and cast Cure Wound as a second level on Erebus. Oh god, bless. We in this fight now, boys. I mean, the um, unicorn is right there too, so it's like everyone as well. Oh, do I get healing? Let's go. It's another. And five I get one. another five. Right? Yeah, another five for everyone. Ah. It's so good. Cool. Oh, I love it. I love the yeah. unicorn. <laughs> I'm not sure if I include a Erebus as well. I'm gonna change my five. deity to snow this unicorn. Worship. Ornam doesn't even have a deity. He can do that for free. I just, I just, I. 
praying to the, <laughs> to the magical energy unicorn. Yeah, you, you pray to it, and that's how you get the healing from it. There's gotta be some unicorn god in the Feywild. Oh, the yeah. snow unicorn. Eleki, what do you mean? Eleki? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, let's do that. I worship. So I'm gonna move back whenever I'm done. Okay. And that's my turn. Uh, Rodon. <laughs> yeah, well, I got him. Uh, so how's everyone looking? <laughs> Well, doing good. I'm, I'm fine. I, You're uh, fine. This, I'm doing this, great. The drow lady's like, I, I can use some healing. I can make it worth your while. Uh, talk to so your I guys about that. Helana. I can pay you gold. That's their job. You should have stayed last time. You would have been yeah. out of this, but you ran away. No, just shut up. We're not gonna help you. We're gonna kill you. I'm just gonna. It's good to see you. Chop, chop, chopping away at this bugbear tree in front of me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> choppy chop 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 his 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 thighs are thick like tree trunks oh 24 hits oh hello what are we talking about oh. we're talking about well, i don't know you we're talking about bugbear thighs what you mean there's a max damage roll uh you you fell the bugbear tree i guess ronom's the lumberjack <laughs> all right a slight question mm-hmm can I have the drow's heart after this is all over? Oh, that's not a question for me. <laughs> as, as I chop this, as I just like cleave this bugbear down to the ground, I'm just like, I see Loki on the other side of him. I'm just like, all in a day's work. I will go here. Loki, your turn. I'm guessing the secret. So I'm on the drow. She's pretty dexterous. Oh, super dexterous. Uh, she she uh, is like easily like able to like get out of the way in time. As your the sacred flame descends from the heavens. You just die already? No. <laughs> <laughs> like I have collected orcs. I've collected bugbears. I have collected a troll's heart. A drow would be lovely to add to this collection. Just die. Bring Please. it. <laughs> I am done. Okay. I did a little movement. And I'm done. We are back to Gundren, who's just kind of back here, like, no, no, don't worry, I got it. No, it's a high new turn. They're attacking the wall. Do it. Oh. Nibbling away. Uh, as you, you kind of like look back as they sort of scratch one, you can see like a tiny hole up here. A tiny hole. Mm -hmm. Is it enough? They're for getting them to closer. Please? No, not not enough for them to get through. But you can you can you're able to like see them on the other side. They're almost there. Uh, Erebus. Okay. I'm gonna make the or make one attack against this bugbear. Okay. See how that might. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Me. Let me let me move that out of the way. Short sword. You can zoom in a lot. Now that we're oh, kind of nine, that's not gonna hit. Then I will go with a second swing. Okay. Same bug there. There we go. That'll do it. 11. Piercing in total to bug beer. Okay. This one sees Loki coming at him. And he, he's just, Loki's been casting spells. These bugbears hate that. There's one thing they hate. Morningstar. Oh, no. You're gonna take 20 points of piercing damage as he runs into you and slams down with his morning star, Loki. Loki gets knocked unconscious. Uh, and Valak's like, yes, good. <clears throat> I'll give uh, t 10 gold extra to whoever, for however many you, you guys kill. A we'll long sword attack at Elaine. Uh, and again, you're able to parry your blows. Her blows are kind of weak now, now that she's, she's, she's bloodied. This bugbear's turn. He's going to attack back at Erebus. Erebus, you're going to take eight piercing damage as the one you slashed in the back with the long sword swings his morning star at you. Smashes into your side. And the final bugbear will go after Elaine. Uh, and they're just not able to hit. Elaine's just, just dodging and weaving and blocking things with the shield and parrying with the sword. Uh, they're not able to land a land a blow. We're back around to Pistachio. Pistachio will use the help action to help out Erebus against whatever uh, whatever targets he attacks. Okay. okay. If they're nearby, like either one of those. Gotcha, gotcha. Or even this one. 
Okay. I'm assuming yeah. Pistachio is just chilling. Yeah, he's just using his health action. Okay. We're around to a lane. I'm doing it again. Okay. 22. Roll that damage. 12. What does it look like as you strike down the drow? Oh. Elder Raven Queen, I send my regards and I'll just stab her. Okay. Uh, so as you skewer her with your long sword, uh, she she kind of whispers out, uh, uh, may, may Lolf take me. And then she begins to shift and change. Uh, and on the end of your sword is no longer a drow. Is this creature... That is so not hot. Hold on, you haven't seen them yet, Bear. Hold on, hold that's on. True. I'm, that's, I'm, I'm sure they look beautiful. beautiful. You gotta love them for oh. who they are, not what they look like. And that is that is what's on the end of your sword. Alright, Bear, now what's... <laughs> you work for this thing? <laughs> they're, they, they're, like, shocked, because they... They're just... What, what, what you do, what you do... And they're just like, foul magic! Kill you! Foul, 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 foul magic! Uh, they're, they're like, buggers are, are I do. pointing. Can I, can oh, I roll a check fine. to see if I can tell, uh, what she was? Yeah, roll a history check, or a nature check, and maybe you had come across one in your, in your battles. Okay. Nature check. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Not an advantage. That's fine. Uh, you you know that it's you, you're able to, you're, you know it's just like a, some kind of shape changing creature. I kind of I kind of just am, I look at at her corpse in front of Elaine. I kind of just shake my head. I'm like, I can't believe she was a wobble dopple popple all along. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> I think. Yep, you got a it. Popple uh, Elaine, I believe you have one more attack. You already know where it's going. Advantage at the bugbear below me. Oh, you really? I can't... Oh, <laughs> she was a. Uh... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Goodbye, bugbear. Twelve plus four. That is. I think that is just enough 16. to end it. Tolu. I'm gonna use Thorn Whip on this one. Okay. Do you like flanking? I like flanking. Oh, that hit. That hits. It is. <laughs> Pull as well. Uh, five. Big five damage. Piercing and is large or smaller. You pull the creature to ten feet. Wait, do I need to make some sort of save? Nope. That's such a good cantrip. That's such a good cantrip. Uh, up to ten feet. I'm assuming you want it here, or do you want it back one more, or one more side right here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You. Thorny whip arms turn next. wraps around its, its big meaty calves and just yanks him back ten feet. I just, just want to come and look at you. around the tree trunk. Never mind, I don't. Just and just, hide over and you. just like come just yelps and he's like ah. So he slides <laughs> across the floor. Is this is this this small kobold pulls him <laughs> across the room? Ronom. I kind of just like grip my. Great axe menacingly. You, Let me creature. see the second crit. We have you surrounded, and your employer deceived you. Would you like to live or would you like to die here, knowing that? Do your worst. Okay, I will. Okay. And then I hey, swing on him. <laughs> no, that hits. Okay. Ow! <laughs> He's still standing. And then I am going to move. Who's up next? Let's see. What's that turn order? Okay, okay. Okay. I think Erebus is, is the next one to be able to do anything unless you're able to pick Loki up this turn. Oh, is Loki down? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he, he'll be fine. We're almost done. Okay, I'll end my turn there. Okay. Uh, Loki, roll me a death saving throw. He has the necklace, doesn't he? Oh, he that's right. Well, he, can, he can either try and roll and hope for a nat 20, or he can just use the, ne the necklace can stabilize him. It's up to him. 
I'm using necklace. Alright. Okay. I ain't trying my chance. This bar is <laughs> shitty this entire session. No. Uh, you tiny, you did so much damage with the necrotic, the necrotic hand. Uh, Gunman's out here. He's just like, I, th I think the hyenas are almost through. And that's his turn. Uh, well, it's kind of been a sheet, you know, with the usual. All right. Uh, is twelve good enough? Yeah, roll the damage. Okay. Uh, the hole gets a little bit bigger, but it's not quite big enough. Roll it. Um, that's enough. That's a. It's able to burst through. They're true. Oh no! A bit late to the party, but they here. Your demise has arrived. <laughs> and it's gonna be the, their turn. Okay. Erebus. All right. Uh, I'm gonna make one. One attack against this one. Okay. And since I have Pistachio helping me. Oh yeah, I assume like uh, Erebus is ready to attack. He's just gonna make like a bunch of little squeaks, high pitch noise, like a little alarm. The, the book bear is like, what? Ah, what the? What the heck is that? It's like just. 22. Oh, that hits. And that will take ten points of piercing damage. So as you as you cut him down, his face is just like frozen in like a, a state of shock as he like was staring down at. <laughs> little pistachio just totally distracted <laughs> and then bonus action gonna apply hunter's mark to this one okay and make my second attack against it 11 points of piercing what does it look like as you take down the last and final bugbear cut down um onto the shoulder of the first one gonna rear back kind of flip the short sword in my hand and just kind of plunge the sword like behind me into it so just Pull back and just wipe off the blade. All right, we are we are out of initiative. Someone save me! <laughs> I don't have any healing spells or I'll, potions I'll, on me. I'll heal. Loki. I have a I have a healing potion. Save your spell it, slot. No, I can heal Loki. It's fine. You gremlin! I'll give it's them gonna the heal healing like everyone if I do that. I got the unicorn up. Did anybody else even take damage? I think I everybody, everybody to took damage. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. I'm the tank. It's I gonna be no, not one. usually. I'm it's always fine. the one that takes damage. I, yeah, I actually took a chunky bit of damage there before go. the unicorn got dropped. I'm gonna search the thing on the floor while I do the. Okay, so Loki, yeah, you get be fine for your one, of course. Yeah, seven healing, and then everybody gets an extra five. Then I'm just gonna kind of stroll in while that's happening, and he he gets a little. He's like, oh, that, that's. That's nice. Oh, another totem. <laughs> He's like, do I need to watch this one too? <laughs> He's just gonna stare at it. Um, <laughs> the drow dead. Yes, the drow. Well, it's not a drow. Um, Creature. Something the else. Gremlin. Doppelganger. Owen, can I have its heart once you're You done? can have your heart when I'm done searching it. Yes. I dropped a sword too. You can check them out. See if it's like magic. Uh, okay, so uh, it. So it's it's wearing um, some kind of like it's wearing like leather armor. It's got a long sword and a longbow. Um, it has a small pouch uh, with three gold in it, and you find a folded up note. Oh, I'm taking the note. Well, okay, can you look at these weapons with your fancy magic vision? Let's put it like right in front of your face because I know the whole area. Is yeah. Like so like, like I, gotta, I gotta get it real close. Like before, as you kind of reach out with your detect magic. It's sort of there's there's magic there's magical like residue and remnants all over the place, but the the weapons just seem normal. Garbage. Just gonna on. throw it across the room. You can have the heart if it doesn't have anything else. I'll take my three gold and read my note. Okay. Uh, in common, order the bugbears to continue to try and clear out the rest of the mine. Uh, also begin excavation. Uh, of the of the uh, bottom of the of the rift in the in the large cavern to the east, and well, it's signed. Was... It's stamped with like a, a sigil of like a black spider at the bottom. Oh, that was helpful. I'm just gonna throw it in the brazier. Okay, it just burns up. A nice rest. Are, they, are these beds in pretty good shape? Yes, they're they're a bit smelly. Uh, That's fine. Kind of seems like the bugbears were were here resting. 
Uh, you see remnants of what looks like a, uh, a kind of like a table that was propped up to kind of hold this door closed, but now this this wall is gone. Yeah, sorry for that. So uh, you can really close easy. the door, but there's still a there's still a a nice entrance through. It's a bit drafty now. That's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Well, it's, I flow. guess I'll block this door. Gonna... That is the door they came through. You can we even do anything with that? There's a hole there. I don't think yeah, we there's have not much you can do. Is there anything up here? No question. Oh. What's your question? Who doppelganger hunt he used for anything special? Uh, not that you know of. No. Dinner? Yeah. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat a bugbear heart. Is there's just so many of those in supply. You know what? I'm feeling generous. You can have the whole bugbear. What the fuck? <laughs> bugbear? There's a brazier right there if you want to cook it. Yeah. I mean, we we should probably rest in here. Yeah. There's nothing. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pile all our corpses up here, or just have the I hyenas just, just, have the hyenas just, clean them up. Oh yeah, they can eat it. Oh, we can pile them against them. <laughs> The hole over here is gonna be like a new wall. <laughs> a wall of dead bugbears. <laughs> I'm just and gonna like prop. Game. I'm just gonna like prop them up in the corner here. Yeah, that works. No, I, I, I'm just. I think I'm just gonna go to sleep in this bed. Are we taking a short or long rest? I, I'm. I'm just gonna go to bed. <laughs> you just somebody <laughs> watch first. Wake me up when it's my turn. Are you guys to wait? So are you guys taking a long rest? Yes. I'm not opposed to it. I'm just gonna climb under the blankets. And... Do I have anything for it? Lay down. Have the hyenas sleep and have one sleep in front of the door and the other sleep in the hole. Well, they won't. They They're don't last that long. In like thirty minutes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fine. Minutes. I mean, that's thirty minutes of watching. I'm taking the first watch. Do right, don't watch let anything kill me. I'm going to bed. I'll set up traps. Have fun. I'm sleeping. I guess we're taking a long rest. I guess we, we are. are. Look, these beds here, they're just in the perfect spot. It's a sign. I'm going to bed. Yeah, oh, just God. a quick little eight hour, I hour mean, nap. To be eight. honest, I'm not opposed to it. Yeah. I'm, I'm asleep already. It's it's too late. I'm asleep. I'm taking second rest. I mean, second uh, one. I'll take second I said just, I'll, I said just wake me up whenever it's my turn. So wake me up whenever. Yeah, I'll take turn. I guess I'll take this one. <sighs> Oh, what a day. I right, mean, guys? Night. <laughs> Such a weird place for home. a long rest. <laughs> this is the best place for a long rest. What do you mean? The bugbears will keep all the, like, disgusting things away? It's fine. The stench will scare most of it away. Don't worry. The, the black spider's not even going to come down here either. He was telling the lady to do stuff, so we'll probably be fine. Steve's furiously writing notes. Okay. They're so, going to die next week. Gundren, get a bed. I just salutes. <laughs> it just flops into a bed. Um, is oh, this there's a bed for all of us? Yeah. Elaine's heavy ass. Hold on, is this brazier like anchored to the floor, or is it just a really heavy one that's loose? It's really heavy. What is it? All right, Dragonborns, help me push this in front of the door. It, it is hot. It has it has Logan's burning coal. coals in it. Oh, oh my god! Oh, I'll get out of bed. To pull it. I I cast. Well, can I just? Oh, he's snuff, casting. Can I just snuff it out? That's fine. I'm casting levitate on the on the brazier. <laughs> oh, so the fire. Just kinda, okay, that's fine. Yeah, do <laughs> I just that. Lift it up, like, just gonna pull it over you. Put feet. it in front of the door. Yeah. And bar the door with it. Uh, I will need put it to push it over. And then I'll just. Yeah. But just unconcentrate on it. Yeah. I'll just grab it. I have resistance to fire, and I have like a million temp HP still. We'll just leave it lit because if they push the door open, it'll fall over and make it so they can't commit without stepping in it. Okay, so that goes there. Yeah. Uh, all right. So who's Good. who's taking first watch? What what are you guys? Well, Loki. Snowy's putting up traps. Yeah. <laughs> Before I go to bed, I will want to place my bear trap over here, and I want to use my water skin to soak all the stairs in the water, 
and I want to soap them up to make them real slippery. It's not home alone, I swear. Um, oh, I forgot my bell. Oh. Can I send Pistachio get my bell back? He's, it's all tied up with string, right? I don't think he's going to be able to undo it. You can just nibble on the fishing line. <laughs> I'll give him my dagger again, carrying like in his mouth. Weaponize the weasel. Um, Metal Gear Pistachio. I'm sending my weasel okay. to the bell. I, I'm trusting you with it. We finally and I want him to come back with the bell. I don't know if he's going to come back. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, move them, move them down. Kind of give me a path that you're taking here. Uh, Get on your pistachio! I roll me, roll me a stealth check. Pistachio. Does he have snow? I'm trying to sneak around, but a dummy oh, thick. Is that gonna roll still? And the clap of my toe beans <laughs> keeps alerting the slimes. <laughs> no, not the jellies. Uh, what is what is pistachio's AC? Uh, I'm a okay. He's gonna take eleven damage. All right, it's never gonna be <laughs> yeah. points. <laughs> oh wait, like Stasio has a shield. Not shield. coming back. So it's like all right, all right. It's, it's, he's taking a break. <laughs> he's, he's dead. So yeah, he'll be back later. So you you've got the stairs soaked up and a bear trap. Yes. Okay. And the yin are gonna be there like until they disappear in like thirty minutes. Loki's keeping watch. Yes. Even though I'm going to sleep, I'm going to just lose concentration. And I fall asleep, I'm guessing. Okay. Uh, so, did you guys move the bodies, or the bodies just kind of where they are? Just yeah, we moved them, like, up here. Okay, you know what? I'm walking over to the doppelganger, and I'm smashing his head into the ground. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have to roll a strike? <laughs> or no? I, I mean... I, I feel like if that's something you wanted to do at, at some point, it would happen. So there's no point in making you roll over and over again to stomp on someone that's dead. Well, I want to make sure, like, the head is completely pulverized. You, you got it. it there's just no head left. It's fun. <laughs> and then you just walk back? I probably should roll the perception check. Yep. Okay, so you, you smush you smush the, the, a dead corpse's head in, and then you walk back to the center of the room. Uh, yeah, roll roll perception. Is there anything else you wanted to do during during your your watch? No, not in the slightest, except for play with my dagger. Okay, it's your play it, fiddle, fiddling around with your your dagger, uh, and you hear the shattering of glass. Elaine, you're gonna take. A little bit of damage as glass uh, shards erupt at your side. So three, three <clears throat> piercing damage. Uh, and this uh, is this is a, this is about mm, forty-five minutes into Loki's watch, and your friend's back. And oh, hello. And it's did that wake us all up? Oh yeah, you guys hear you guys hear the shattering of glass, and it's going to let loose a fireball. Oh god! <laughs> Just straight down as it comes up, uh, sort of here. Oh. Well. What's the rain on that? <laughs> twenty feet. Am I safe? You're fine. Oh, yeah, good. it's twenty feet. It, 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 fine, it looks upset. It's like flames, <laughs> like are roaring around it. Um, hey. hey. What is this little creature? A... a flaming skull. Oh, here, let me, yeah. Uh, let me get the picture for the, the folks at home. Uh, oops. Oh, oops. Oh, it doesn't save. That's not good. I mean, I have resistance. I'm fine. So, this this uh, this erupts next to Elaine. Uh, healthy as ever. Hey, 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 hey! Uh, it just shatters its little teeth at you. I'm just throw one of my daggers at it. Uh... Calm down, buddy. So that's 20, 27, or half, because you guys both saved. Wait, am I in I, range I, of it? I, I have resistance. No, you're not. It's like, it's like you shot it, like, right at its feet. Yeah, like, it's straight down. Like 20 feet range. Um, it's exactly 20 feet. Nah, yeah, so you're, you'll take 13 uh, fire damage, Erebus. 
Uh, and I take half of that. Yep, so six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's only been 45 minutes, so I still gotta make. Yeah. I know I lose concentration on that when I went to bed. Yeah, so um, you guys. Let me, make, um, let me make my deck save. I don't think you're close enough, are you? He yeah. is. He's exactly in 20 feet. Oh, that's 27 fire damage. No, that's that's Loki's initiative roll. Oh, my bad. Okay, so you're not, you're only gonna take uh, 13 fair. So yeah, you guys all wake up to uh, a green floating skull, uh, floating floating uh, 20 feet up in the air, well above Elaine's head. <laughs> uh, I'll quickly, obviously, jump away. Look at this thing. My it destroyed my jar. It was my jar. I gave you a pearl for it. Oh, I got the crossbow. I'm shooting it. As your arrow kind of looks like it's about to hit, it sends out like a little burst of fire and it burns it away. Uh, it does not uh, receive any damage. We're doomed. That's going to be my turn. Ronom. Oh. I like shouted Elaine. This is your fault. It's not. Make We're killing it this time. Inspiration. Like, Gundren can talk to him, right, Gundren? What do you want me to do about this thing? He, he listens to Dwarven Miners. You're a Dwarven Miner. I'm trying to decide it, It's 20 feet up. Do. It's 20 feet up? Yeah. Yes. How, how high is the ceiling in this room? 20 feet high. The ceiling, he's, like, up um, against the ceiling. 20 exactly 20 feet yeah. high. Just yell insults at it, it's fine. You dipshit, you're setting uh, that on fire. Calm it down. I'm just kind of like baffled right now. <laughs> like, I don't have anything I can really do. You're supposed to stay in the jar. <laughs> we had an agreement. <laughs> it just opens its mouth. And it's not, all non mining personnel need to leave. <laughs> Gundren, there has to be something you can do about this, right? Don't you have. Tell him to stop. I. I. I, I... <laughs> You're, you're the miner now. This is your mine. <laughs> I I mean, I get. I guess I, I can try. I guess I'll just do vicious mockery. Okay. Cause I got nothing else. Okay. What do you? What do you yell at it? I'm just like you, stupid skull. You're broken. We're the miners now. Uh, I roll damage. It does half damage because that insult was so bad. Uh, if oh my god, <laughs> you see a little like just like fiery tear kind of fall from its its lifeless eyes, and it has disadvantage on its next attack roll. I guess that would be a magical attack too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Magical me, city. I am going to. Go away the fuck over here too. <laughs> We're just leaving. Elaine? Oh, look look right over there. Skull on the point at Gundren. He he's the miner. Is he gonna do anything? It just it just opens the message repeats, but it will kind of turn to look at Gundren. But it doesn't it, it's oh. like fire around it is still like Oh. That missiles <clears throat> those were that was my last spell slot. It was worth a try. Okay. Yeah, just oh. its fire is so bright and your love is so strong that you just couldn't quite. You won the miss. Passion. <laughs> I'm shouting Don't at Elaine. Don't attack me like that. I'm shouting at Elaine. You missed on purpose. <laughs> Arabic. I could never hurt him. Okay, I'm gonna move five feet here, so it is now thirty feet away from me. Um. As a bonus action, I'm going to use my Planar Warrior feat. Um, so as I draw back my Storm Bow, basically a little magical runes start to light up. Um, then I'm going to make two attacks on against it. Okay. First one. That 28 hits. to hit. And, and this is now dealing force, force damage, damage to it, not piercing. So Absolutely genius. Do... Oh, plus it gets 1d8. 
15 points of force damage to it. Okay, it slams back into it. It, 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 it before when you guys fought it once before, it, you, it looked like you weren't doing uh, as much damage as you would think, but this looks like it, it took the full brunt of that uh, of that attack. And the second strike. Oh, oh, I'm dead. It's shattering against the yeah, ceiling. It shatters against the ceiling. Yeah. Um, that'll be my turn. Uh, all right. So Gun, Gun is gonna look at you guys. He's like, "What? What do you guys? What do you guys want me to do?" Talk to it. Let us see your face. You're a dwarf. Uh, this thing, this thing worked with dwarves. He's gonna come up. He's he's kind of like, he's he's kind of got like scrunched up his beard in his hand a little bit because he's super nervous. He's like, "Ah." Uh, tell it you're. Tell it you're in I, charge now. I'm. Uh, I, I'm, I'm in charge of the mine, and, uh, it'd be really nice if you stopped. <laughs> uh, and you, oh, okay, hold on. Let me, let me pull up Gundren's sheet. You might want to give it, give it, uh, give it your name. Uh, my name's, the name's Gundren. Uh, so I'm just gonna roll that Gundren. charisma check with a plus one charisma. Let's go, and have 20 Gundren. <laughs> you would think that he does would... he get advantage because he's a dwarf. Mm, uh, hmm. I'll allow it. Oh my god, we okay. have a chance. Yo. Um. And oh my god, that's good. uh, so the it looked like the flaming soul was like charging up another attack. Uh, and at his words, it'll it'll kind of stop. Another message will play, and it's, it just says like uh, uh, show credentials. Uh, and Gundren's just like uh, sh uh shit, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any. Loki, uh, make some. Oh, go ahead. But make some fake make credentials. Some credentials. Do something. Uh, the the flame is just going to wait. You see, it's it's staring down at Gundra though. Minor illusion. It's time. Loki. It's time. I walk up to Gundra. I look him dead in the eye. Gundra. Tell me what the credentials look like, and no stuttering. Uh, he's he's gonna look at you and just like kind of shrugs. He's like, I I <laughs> I don't know what they look like. This is an old ass mine. Uh, just just make it just make it look like a paper that that says I own it. Swear to God, I'm gonna have your head on a pike if this goes badly. He's just gonna turn back. He's like, I'm, I'm literally paying you for this. I do not care. Well, then I, then I guess I don't need to pay you. Anyway, <laughs> imagine not getting paid. So you make make a, a piece of paper that looks real official. I hand it to Gunjin. Okay. Here you go. Don't fuck it up. Uh, the skull, the skull, he's kind of just holds it up and the skull sees it. You, you guys see that the, the flames dim down a little bit. Uh, and he's just like, they're, they're with me. Tell it whatever you want it to do. Tell it to go guard the other room uh, again, like it was doing. And it will kind of like see it nod and it will just fly out of the room. Back to, Let's go. back to where you guys saw it originally. Back to where he belongs in his natural habitat. Alright, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> this is your turn. I'm going to sleep. It, okay, you're going to sleep, Loki? You were on watch yeah. for like a half an hour, Loki. Uh, was I really? <laughs> yeah. mm. Fine. Uh, Everybody back to sleep. Yeah, Snorley, you, would, you would realize that Pistachio never came back. <laughs> I realized okay. that like before I went to bed. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Gundren will flop back down, go to sleep. Good work, Gundren. Uh, and. I Go ahead. Uh, your bed's probably exploded, by the way, you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna lay in, like, the ashes. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. It's warm. It's I'm just gonna I'm just gonna slump against the wall with like smoke coming like seeping off of my clothing a little bit. You want okay. my just, very like, small bit well. infuriated at what just happened. <laughs> Don't let the fireballs bite. Uh and uh the rest of the night will actually pass without incident. Okay. Long rest, do we level up? No, you don't level up. Uh, but you guys got a long rest. Oh, oh god. Might have been. Just, they just sleep propped up against this wall. <laughs> Let's go. And I think, I All think right, well, uh, we're first... gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned before, we are playing this live on Twitch on Friday night, so feel free to come stop by the stream uh, to see what kind of shenanigans the party gets up to as it happens live. Three of our party members are also fellow streamers. I have links to their Twitch pages down below. If you think they're funny, if you loved them, please, please, please go drop them a follow. You won't regret it. And we hope to catch you next time.